So sometime back I shared a post on energy transfer during sexual intercourse and it said that you need to avoid people with baggages because the moment you engage with these people that you uh, absorb these negative energies from them and then somebody asked me so what if we have sexual intercourse with positive people right would that be a good thing well it's like this right the main message of the post was to explain to you <clears throat> that there is an energy transfer you're basically you're being close to this person you're having sexual intercourse with because it's a very intimate thing right and you will tend to adapt certain qualities of them certain emotions of this individual and because of that you need to be cautious of who you get close to right who you engage with that is like the main message from that post and in terms of having many sexual partners it actually depends on the individual because there are two kinds of people one is a promiscuous and the other one is one man one woman kind of people right so and the the messy part of it is it's the mixing of these two groups that causes friction i mean if the promiscuous people date only promiscuous people right you see there's a match in their sexual preferences because they want a number of people to have an exchange with right whereas the one woman one man kind of people are the loyal you know they want the works the entire package so when a promiscuous individual and a loyal person or person the one woman one man kind of person dates there's a clash because one wants to uh explore the other wants to build the future right you see there are two two different goals two different motives two different lifestyles there so you need to associate with people like you if you are promiscuous right you need to associate with people who are promiscuous because it's easier for you rather than you know misleading somebody who wants a future with somebody so that's what that post was and in terms of having multiple sexual relationships with positive people it's totally up to you i mean it's your sexual preference after all and having said that right despite the two categories it is the human soul it's it's a basic desire or the deepest desire of the human soul to be fulfilled right and hold on let me go on to the next video but when it comes to sexual satisfaction it's one of the deepest desires of the human soul and the moment you embark on a promiscuous lifestyle you're accepting a short-lived satisfaction right you're on this adrenaline rush like you know it's a couple of seconds and you're done and you get used to that high you know the, the continuous high and there's no uh it's not a permanent high it's not long lasting but short bursts of happiness right that becomes an addiction and over a period of time you will feel less satisfied as opposed to sticking to one person yet with regard to this one particular individual you need to uh first have knowledge about yourself and then you need to have self-control and you need to have the intention of finding your other half your 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 twin soul out there because it is this individual that can give you the long lasting explosive sexual experience every soul craves for right the issue is we have put different criteria that block our path to this to finding this individual like in terms of societal constraints cultural constraints saying you know, this person has to be from this particular group this particular trait this particular you know all the etc etc which society is putting you 
right? Which is all right. I'm not against it. But it's just a barrier for you to find this person. So you're construct you're obstructing yourself from finding your other half, your twin soul, basically. And so it's totally up to you. It's, it's your choice in the end.